My girlfriend says she wants to see me. I'm canceling all plans. I don't care who mad. That's my queen, and she's coming second to no one. That's my queen. She's never going to come second to no one, right? Including yourself, right? I mean, she ain't putting you first. You know, I don't put my girl first. I care about her. You know, I love the girl. I don't put her first. I put me first, right? I'm priority here because I'm the man, all right? But a lot of these guys have become women. So because they become women and now they have a period just like women, they tend to act like women. So don't be surprised when you hear these simps talking like women because they essentially are women, right? They have sunken so deep into their feminine frame, uh, there's no escaping, right? They gave up their masculine, uh, their masculinity long ago, right? With the rest of the pussies and cowards that did uh, when the blue pill mob came along and forced you and twisted your arm and tried to shame you and, you know, threatened to cancel you. A lot of those pussies went and uh, all the strong men stayed and we formed what's called the Manosphere. Where you get high quality education like this that will keep you from simping, that will keep you from lowering yourself to where you're pedestalizing some female who will likely end up cheating on you for pedestalizing her. Uh, we make sure that you make yourself priority and not her. Okay, you should always be the priority, guys. You should always be the priority. A woman will never respect a guy. Hear me now. A woman will never respect a guy who doesn't prioritize himself first. She can't have respect for you. She can't even trust you to be a guy. I mean, do you seriously think these chicks are being faithful to these dudes? No, because when a real man comes along, a real man with balls, a real man who's dominant, a real man who stands his ground, guess what? She's, she's looking the back at that dude, right? She's like, I can, I can feel the pheromones coming off this strong man. Right? And she'd rather be with a strong man than the, the beta male pussy she's with, she's with now, who's pedestalizing her. So never be that dude. Never be that dude. You deserve someone who can't wait to talk to you and spend time with you, get to know you, fall in love with you. Please stop settling for half-hearted, lukewarm, hesitant, and indecisive. It is so much better to be alone than to be with someone who makes you feel alone. Another chick. I deserve this. I deserve. That's modern woman's favorite two words. I deserve. I deserve. Uh, well, why? Because of me. Well, yeah, but you've cheated on all your boyfriends. I don't care. I deserve. Oh, yeah, but you're also a single mom with two kids from, like, two different fathers. It doesn't matter. My past doesn't define my future. I deserve. I deserve. I deserve this kind of guy. I deserve a high quality guy. He's going to come along, sweep me off my feet, tell me all those sweet nothings, and buy me gifts, pay my car note, pay my rent. I deserve. I deserve. Because that's all society feeds these girls. That's why you hear them constantly saying that and listening to these, uh, you know, these ridiculous and childish positive affirmations that they all listen to and what's behind I mean you can't do a positive affirmation for a woman these days without including those two words you deserve you know no you don't deserve it right you deserve what you get you deserve what you work for you deserve what you earn you don't just deserve things okay that's not how this world works you don't just deserve because you're you you're not special you're just another person out there until you prove there's something special about you to where you deserve that right I'm tired of this culture you know what? <laughs> this culture we're creating of just victim mentality you know why I'm driving a Range Rover right now uh, this car was like ninety thousand dollars brand new almost a hundred thousand dollars rent you know why I'm driving this car it's not you know it's it's because I earned it right I don't even like to use that word deserve it's because I earned it you know why I'm driving uh, you know a 65 Corvette uh, cause I earned it, my DeLorean, cause I earned it, you know, you know how I became financially successful? Not cause I deserved it, but because I earned it, right? I earned it. You get what you earn. Simple as that. Okay. Simple as that. But a lot of these modern women want to, uh, just basically get things without doing the work. They want to sit there and you know, basically whine about what they deserve without actually doing the things necessary to deserve those things. Especially when it comes to a man. Oh, I deserve this kind of man. I deserve a man who is going to give me the world. 
well, how have you treated men in the past? You know, you were unfaithful to all of them. You know, you're sleeping with your ex-boyfriend's best friend. How do you deserve that? Ah, I just deserve it. I deserve. Uh, everyone tells me I deserve it. Unbelievable. If she's in her 40s and she's still fine, that woman going to be fine forever. Believe that. Yeah, if she's still 40 and she's still attractive, I'm not going to disagree. She's going to continue to be attractive as long as she ages gracefully. She doesn't do the Botox. She doesn't do the, the, the duck lips. She doesn't get the fake boobs. She doesn't get the fake butt implants. She ages gracefully. She's a good person. But most of all, she's married. Okay? Yeah. As long as she's somebody's wife, you know, she'll age fine. But if she's still single out there, running around on Tinder, <laughs> pulling dates off of Bumble, sleeping around, go out letting guys raw dog her, uh, she's not going to stay fine forever, dude. Right? Quit simping. Start pimping. Right? Stop, stop doing this uh, kowtowing to the feminine. Probably another dude raised by a single mom, I'm sure. Because most of these guys who don't have a backbone usually are because they didn't have a strong father around to tell them hey boy stop simping right that's what i would tell my son knock it off however uh yeah if a woman is still attractive in her 40s uh you know it's usually because she's naturally attractive and she tends to keep that as long as she doesn't do drugs doesn't uh drink alcohol or at least you know not to the point where she's an alcoholic um stays feminine right tries to repel any of those masculine traits that start to creep in as she gets older right continues to appreciate her husband value her husband support her husband be a good wife be faithful be loyal yeah she can stay attractive for the rest of her days right and that's why i look for girls who have that natural beauty about them just naturally beautiful because i know like once they hit their uh you know, they're middle ages, they'll still be attractive, right? And I've called it pretty well. I, I've, I've missed a couple of times, but I've been pretty good about calling like certain girls, like when I was growing up, I'm like, I bet that chick's gonna be like a hot mom or, you know, whatever. And I was pretty accurate the whole time. I mean, these chicks didn't always turn out to be good people, right? But, uh, you know, <laughs> essentially uh, they are, uh, they're able to hold on their looks. But uh, the thing that makes a 40-year-old woman really attractive and really able to hang on to her femininity is uh, if she gets married and she stays married, like from her 20s and beyond for the rest of her life, and she's committed to one man. Ask me, church. Catholic. So, yeah. That is how a woman maintains her looks, and uh, as long as she's not out there running around, doing the single life, uh, that, I mean, that will age you really fast, All right? But if she's married, she'll probably age gracefully and uh, continue to stay attractive through the rest of her days, and that's what we look for, isn't it, gentlemen? Until next time, drop the comments below, guys. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything you'd like to share, anything you'd like to add. I always love to see you guys in my comments. I always love to read them. So please feel free to drop your comments below. And with that said, I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Do it now. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. Okay, more importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Okay, it helps me out a ton, especially right now, guys. YouTube is on this just purge of, you know, not promoting channels like ours that are trying to help men. Okay, they don't like this type of content. So I need you guys to help me spread the word. So if you have other like-minded friends of yours who are also ready to be unplugged from the blue pill matrix and are ready to be red pilled share my coaching videos with them so they could get a taste of what they're gonna learn okay promote my work and get them to subscribe to my channel right but it helps me out a ton when you guys are subscribed to my channel because then we could really help grow 
and really build this thing and really change the world, right? That's what we're here to do. We're here to change the world. So can't do it all by myself. Need you guys to help me out. So appreciate it if you subscribe and you get other like-minded Red Pill friends of yours to subscribe to my channel as well. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content even further, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, baby. The best looking, and most high caliber women on the planet. The type of women that your friends can only dream about. The type of women that your friends will only see in magazines. I'm gonna teach you how to get these girls and bring them into your life. I'm gonna teach you where to find them, what to say to them, how to approach them, and how to bring them into your life. I'm teaching you guys this stuff in seven months to mastery, okay? And I have many successful students who've been with me for years now that are in successful relationships. I've had more than a few students marry the woman of their dreams. We get thank you letters literally every single day. Okay, my staff, myself, constantly getting comments, thank you letters, like, oh my God, Em, you saved my life. I married the woman of my dreams, and oh, we've got this beautiful family now, and oh, you know, I met this girl and now she's my girl. I can't believe this chick is my girlfriend. Oh my God, I, you know, I've dreamt about this chick forever. So I teach you how to get these girls and bring them into your life, right? The hottest girls on the planet, the eights, nines, and tens. That's all we focus on, guys. So if you want to jump into seven months to mastery, the first month is only a buck, right? It's only $1 for the entire first month. And the reason why it's only one buck is because I want you to check it out for yourself and see how powerful these coaching lessons actually are and how much they can actually help you. So it's only one buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons and all you have to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.